Up next on End of the Day Beer Review, going to be looking at Goose Island's Bourbon County brand Biscotti Stout, and this is the 2022 variant. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to End of the Day Beer Review. If you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for subscribing. Please feel free to check out the other content. Um, and if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, today, going to be looking at another one of the Goose Island variants. This is the Biscotti, st uh, Biscotti Stout. I've been pronouncing it wrong the entire time. Uh, it's supposed to have notes of marzipan, co uh, cocoa, buttered toffee, and black licorice. And this was bottled on the 19th, I'm sorry, uh, August 24th, and it has a 14.3% ABV. And I have to tell you the truth, um, this is probably going to come out before my video on the base, but I've been a little reluctant with this one. Uh, I am not a big fan of black licorice, and I have heard that there is a, a decent amount of anise in here, which is essentially the taste of black licorice. So I'm hoping, really hoping, that this is going to be a pleasant surprise, sort of like the cola variant from last year, which I really wasn't too thrilled when they announced it, but then it turned out to be, I, I think, my favorite variant of the entire year. So let's crack this open. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, it's off. And uh-oh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of licorice. I haven't even put it up to my nose yet. Actually, wow, I'm getting a lot more chocolate than licorice. Um, okay, this is a big surprise. Uh, it smells like a chocolate brownie, actually like a fudgy chocolate brownie. So I'm sort of excited now to check this out. Uh, okay, let's give it the pour. And getting a jet black beer coming out of this particular container. Again, and it might be my poor, but I think this year's Goose Islands have all exhibited um, a relatively hefty amount of carb carbonation compared to the past years. Uh, in particular, um, the Coffee Stout, the Sir Isaacs, uh, both of them have had a decent amount of carbonation, more than I'm used to. And this too seems to be putting forth a decent amount of carbonation. I'll tell you one thing. The nose on this, and I haven't even put my nose in the glass yet, is dynamite. Um, I'm getting, I'm not getting licorice at all. I'm getting chocolate. I'm getting dark, fudgy chocolate. In fact, fudge is really what I'm getting here. Uh, wow, this smells fantastic. Uh, and, and again, this is the one I was most concerned about as far as, you know, like, will this be good? Uh, I feel like Goose Island tricked me again. Uh, I do see some legs. It's definitely clinging to the glass a bit. Um, good, solid, solid performance as far as legs go because, I, I mean, honestly, this is a 14.3% ABV. Uh, and that's the other thing. This year with the Goose Island, I have found them to be dangerous when it comes to the alcohol content. Uh, you're just not getting it. There's not the burn. There, there's nothing really indicative of how high the ABV really is. Yeah, I'm not even getting the bourbon barrel a lot on this. I'm getting just a tremendous, tremendous amount of chocolate. Oh, well, you know what? This is where I'm going to have to decide whether or not I was wrong uh, and I should have bought more than one of these. And quite honestly, if this is really good, I'm going out tonight. I know a local place has another couple. I might pick them both up. Yeah, chocolate, a hint of the bourbon, definitely, definitely not licorice. I was expecting licorice. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of chocolate, a lot of that fudgy brownie smell. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm getting a hint, a hint of licorice. This is a great, great nose on this beer. All right, most important thing. All right, you know what? It's not as chocolatey as I expected. Uh, there's definitely more alcohol burn. I'm feeling it in the back of my throat. Um, as far as the flavors go, I am getting that black licorice, but you know, it's funny as I swallow, and, and I guess the air from the swallow sort of goes up the back of my nasal passages, that's where I'm hitting the licorice. It's, it's not overwhelming, but I have to also say 
the fudge taste that I expected here, it's not there. Um, there's, there's a chocolate taste there. There's a little licorice on the back end. Um, yeah, you know what, now I'm getting licorice on the back of my tongue. Um, you know, it's funny, if this wasn't labeled Bourbon County, I'm not sure I would have been able to identify this as a really like seriously barrel aged type of, of beer. I'm not getting a tremendous amount of the bourbon. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of the smoke that I got from the base. Uh, in fact, I'm getting some chocolate. I'm definitely getting that black licorice now. It seems to sort of blossom on the tongue as it sits there. Um, it's not what I expected. Uh, and I, I don't necessarily mean that in, in a good way either. Um, when I you know, bought this, I bought it because I wanted to have all the variants and I got all the variants except for the prop. And you know, I wanted to try it because you've got to try all the ones that you can get your hands on. Oh yeah, wow, the alcohol is really sort of like blooming in the belly after you have a couple sips of this. But I mean, that's not surprising, it's 14%. Um, The more I drink it, the more I taste that black licorice. And I have to be honest, I'm not a fan. Um, this is definitely not what I expected um, off the nose. Off the nose, I expected like a, a chocolate fudge brownie, almost like that Fidens that I did a while back. Um, you know, the one uh, I assure you uh, we make, oh, we do stouts. This I'm getting much more of the black licorice. I'm getting much more of that anise that's in here. Um, I'm getting some chocolate. I'm not getting the bourbon, and, and quite frankly, I, I buy Bourbon County because I tend to like the bourbon flavor there. I, I find the carbonation is a little overwhelming too, although it does cause the flavor to sort of blossom in the, excuse me, in the back of, the back of your mouth. Um, I, I, I don't think I like this one. Well, I have to say for a beer, this has been a roller coaster ride. I went in here a little iffy on this, not thinking I would like it. Then I cracked open the bottle and put my nose in the glass and suddenly I was really excited and actually a little bummed in myself for not having bought more of these. And the more I drink it, the more I'm glad I tried it, but I'm also glad I didn't buy more of this. Uh, in fact, yeah, I, I think out of all of the variants I've had so far, and I have two more to go. I have the old fits to check out and I have the 30 year. I think out of all of them so far, this is my least favorite. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not a black licorice fan. So as soon as you throw black licorice in something, I'm sort of against it. Um, there's a certain, there's a little chocolate, but I feel like, yeah, maybe I was mistaking the chocolate for the licorice. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not into this beer. Um, Wow, that was sort of a bummer actually. Um, when I started this, I thought maybe I wouldn't like it. And then the nose tricked me and I was like, wow, I, I really better run out today and buy more. And as I'm drinking it, the more I'm drinking of it, the more I'm really glad I only bought one because that, I think this cost about $30 a bottle, uh, maybe 28, 29, something like that, just shy of 30. Um, to me, and, and I know this goes against most of the other reviews I've seen, this is definitely not the beer for me. I mean, if you're into black licorice, um, this might be the beer for you. But if you're not a black licorice fan, because that is definitely the dominant taste, I thought there would be more chocolate here, uh, then this is not a beer that you're gonna wanna pick up. Uh, in fact, I, I'm sort of bummed that I opened it by myself now because I could think of one or two people who wouldn't mind this, but, um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. In fact, I, I, I'd probably commit the ultimate sacrilege and to drink the rest of this. I might chill it even more just to kill some of the taste. So, you know, I, I, it's funny because overwhelmingly, I, I think this year's Goose Island offerings so far, and again, I've tried the base, I've tried the coffee, I've tried the Sir Isaacs, um, now I've tried the Biscate. I, I think that three 
of the the variants uh, or three of the Goose Islands I've tried. The 2020 base was fantastic in the little and big bottles. Again, I think the carbonation was a little bit more. The coffee I loved, although I heard people you know not love it as much as I did. And the Sir Isaacs I think is unbeatable. To me, it's it's the best one I've had so far. Again, I haven't had the 30 and I haven't had the Fitz yet. Primarily because I don't want to open that bottle by myself. Like that looks like something that should be uh, an event, you know, where we try it, we talk about it. Um, this is one that I could definitely see arguing with friends over. Um, is it worth going out and picking up? I, I guess it's a matter of you know, like how, you know, can you can you lay out thirty bucks for what I think is sort of an iffy iffy beer when there are other ones out there like the base where you get two for this price or like the coffee which again I'm a big coffee person so I think it's great or the Sir Isaacs which I think is just amazing. Um, I, I actually I, I sort of regret purchasing this one. Um, so again you know uh, as far as Goose Island goes this season I think they've, they've knocked it out of the park and I know a lot of people love this but I just do not like black licorice so this is this is clearly not the stout for me um, and again what a roller coaster ride this tasting was because I, if I didn't think I was gonna like it and then I got the nose and the nose I thought was fantastic and then it turned out wow um, I think out of all of the ones that I've had so far this is definitely the one that I'm gonna pass up buying a second one. It just, it does not do it for me. Um, but again, if you're a black licorice fan, this might be the beer for you. Um, you know, it, it definitely puts forth that flavor. It definitely has that taste. It's just not, you know, I, I'm not getting the bourbon from it that I want. I'm not getting the chocolatey flavor that I get from a normal Goose Island. And I know it's a variant, um, and I know I took a risk with it, but. I have to say this is this so far is my least favorite of all of them. Um, again, check it out. You know, if you've tried the biscotti, I'd love to hear <coughs> your opinion on this. Uh, again, it, it could be I'm just biased. I am not a black licorice fan, primarily because I had a uh, sort of rough incident with some sambuca years ago, and I've just never gotten over that. Uh, but this one just does not do it for me. And you know, if, if you're a black licorice fan, this may be the one for you. Uh, it's definitely not the beer for me. Um, anyway, thanks so much for coming on this trip with me. Um, it's been sort of an up and down with this one. Again, not a fan. Um, in fact, I might just pass this off to somebody uh, what's left of it just because, you know, it, it's not something I'm really interested. I'll give it one more sip. Again, that nose is so deceptive. I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting that fudge, but when I drink it, I'm getting licorice. And once it hits your tongue, that licorice flavor really explodes. So I have to say, I think this is one that I would pass up if I saw it again. Definitely not my favorite Goose Island. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna let this one go. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you all have a good night. Uh, please, normally I would say I'm gonna sit back and finish this, but I really don't think I am, um, which is really a shame because um, at the price point, uh, you know, I should have known though. I should have known black licorice. I should have just let it go. Had to try it. Definitely not mine. To but again, love to hear any comments you have, any feedback, uh, and have a good night. Cheers. Uh, but I'm not going to finish this. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you next time.